is the best and the most efficient and compact water system you will see that is possible to have in a light truck like our 4x4. But I'm gonna tell you today, it feels kind of useless. It's been raining for a full week and there's water everywhere, so we don't really need water on board. But I'm sure it's gonna be useful when we will be out and about. Why do we think it's the best water system you can have in a 4x4? Um, I'm gonna show you what it can do, what it does, and I'm gonna also explain all the components that you will need to have the same kind of compact hot water system in a Overland truck. We had a very simple water system in our previous setup, a simple 60 liters, water tank inside of the vehicle and a water pump and we use that water for washing the dishes and also for showering and we couldn't drink it. If we wanted to drink that water we had to use a filter, an additional filter, portable filter to be able to drink it. So most of the time we were just carrying also bottles of water bought at the supermarket. So it wasn't that efficient compared to now. We do know that they are really efficient and nice good portable water system, hot water system that are available today on the market. But this is something that we didn't want to have with our new setup. We wanted something that would blend in our new setup, meaning an onboard fixed hot water system and drinkable water. As for every overlanding build, we had to compromise on something and that is having the water tanks on the exterior of the car, not like previously where we had the water tank inside. So this might be an issue for the cold season. We don't have any solutions for the moment, so you can comment below if you want to help us on that side. The water system that we have now in our setup was shared by Christoph from the Land Cruiser 80. So he was inspired by The Road Chose Me, I'm sure you know that channel and he adapted it to his uh, Land Cruiser and he shared all of this with us and this is when we realized that after all our research and trying to find the best water system this was the one that seemed the most compact and the most efficient because there's one water pump, one water heater and one filtration to have drinkable water so having this inside of our build make it very efficient and doesn't take up that much space. When building the interior setup of the car, it was a lot of thoughts because we had to build the platform for the bed, we had to build the electrical sideboard to have all our electrical setup and we had to think and build this space to have all the parts and all the components for our water system without having the water system and all the components ready there to be sure that everything would fit. We wanted to have everything in one space just as our electrical setup. Everything is in this sideboard so everything is at the same place like this. When we have a problem we just open the sideboard and check all the elements and we wanted to have something similar for the water system. So what we did is that we removed the fifth seat of our Land Rover Defender. It's only four places <laughs> inside of there. And we built like the largest cupboard <laughs> that we could to have on top of it the a fridge. At the time, we clearly didn't know which fridge would fit in there, but we were able to have like the largest fridge possible from ARB, which is like a really, really cool upgrade. And under there, we had all this space to, to have all the components of the water system. And in fact, we are really happy of how it goes today because we were able to put the pump, 
the water filtration system and we have some space for all the hoses, the shower hose, the hose when we pump up water from a river for example and we still have a little bit of space maybe to store some other stuff so everything is like in fact in a van we're gonna say or in like in a large truck everything is fixed at one place because everything goes all together in this space for our water system. To be honest, before doing really the installation and being on the work and being more towards the end of the work, it was kind of complex to understand how it was possible to have only like one pump and only one filtration system when in fact the system could be able to pump water to fill up the tanks and at the same time provide you water when you want to have some water with only one pump and one filtration system without being like a plumber or someone who does this kind of setup and also while researching and seeing all the different setups where people were mostly having like uh, one filtration system in, inside of the car but when people were pumping up water to fill up their tanks there was another filtration system on that hose and on that pump so yeah it was complex to understand and Christoph was really kind enough <laughs> to like take the time to help us understand better his water system and how we could apply it to our Land Rover Defender so this was like really nice from him but now that everything is in place and that everything is fixed and that everything works, seeing that having a closed circuit that is able to do all this with only these few components, it seems all logic and easy to understand now. Regarding the tanks and the filtration system. So previously we only had one tank and we filled up water anywhere. I mean, in Europe, it it's kind of easy to find drinkable water when you are outdoors but as we knew that we weren't going to drink that water we just filled up the tank where it was possible and didn't really look for drinkable water because if we wanted to drink that water in an emergency situation for example we would use portable filtration systems such as a catadin water filter so this wasn't something that we needed to think about when we were out there with the defender previously now with our new setup so we have two water tanks and the question was will we have like one water tank with the drinkable water and the other one for the water that we'll, we will use like every day for washing the dishes and uh, showering and all that and in fact we decided and find it much easier to have the water that is filled inside of the tank going through the filtration system and it goes again through the filtration system when you take it out of the tank to use it. So the disadvantage of doing it like this is that yes we're gonna wash dishes and shower ourselves with drinkable water, the water that would have been through the filter but doing it that way means that we don't need to think about oh is this water drinkable do we put it in this tank if it's not drinkable we have to put it in this tank oh is this tank contaminated and it's not good to drink that water that comes out of this tank so it makes everything easier for us in an everyday use. So what makes this system really easy to fill up and use? We have two options for filling up the tanks. We have the first option, which is the filler system that we just opened here. We have one for each tanks. And this will be used when we will fill up water that we are like 99% sure that it's drinkable. Because by filling it this way, it won't go through the filtration system before going inside of the tank so this is like in a really like good situation we just put the hose in there and fill up one tank and then fill up the other tank now the second option for filling up the tanks is the hose the pumping water like in a river or a water source and 
with this pumping the water system, this goes through the filtration system before going inside of the tanks. And with this system, it fills up both of the tanks. So we didn't separate them for filling up the tanks with the water pump because we thought that if we had to be in this situation we would be in a situation where there's maybe not much water and that it would be useful to have like both tanks filled up. Now for the use of the water, all the water that is in both of the tanks that comes out is going through the filtration system. So even if we like 1% not sure that it's drinkable water and that we filled it up from there. We know that when we have it for drink or, or wash the dishes and everything, it goes through the filtration system. Another thing regarding the use of the tanks, so we have two water tanks and we can separate them. We can like block them, one of them, and only use the water that is in one tank. And this is a valve that is at the exit of the water tank where the water is pumped up to go out when we need it. Still regarding the use of the tanks, we have one tank on each side of the car and we decided that we will mostly use the one on the right side because of the balance of the weight on our vehicle. We have the electrical system and the fridge on one side of the car that are quite heavy and this is why we will mostly use the right side tank and what is good for us is that in fact this is the largest tank with the largest capacity. Did I talk about the capacity of the tanks? I'm not sure yet. So on the right side, it's a bit more than 60 liters. And on the left side, it is a bit more than 50 liters. So in total capacity, we are sure that we have 110 liters. Why do we decide to only use like one tank and not both of them all the time? Is that we think it might be not extremely useful to have always both tanks filled up with water because depending on where we go and what we do, it might be only in a really like long-term upgrade situation that we would need to have all this water capacity without being able to fill up the tanks regularly depending on where we are. The fact that we are able to pump water and use the water is because we have this closed circuit and we have two three-way valves and when they are positioned in one way you will pump the water to fill up the tanks and if you do a 180 <laughs> positioning swap you will be able to have the water. The filter we have is a Guzzle H2O and so it's a filter with a filter that we will need to replace. I have no idea how often. And it also have a UV filtration. As explained previously, if we pump up with our hose from a river or whatever uh, water source, the water that will be pumped will go through the filter before going in the tanks. And every time we have it in the used kind of way to have drinkable water, shower, wash dishes, whatever, when we want to use water, the water that comes, that is pumped from the tanks, goes again through the filtration system. And it's kind of a double filtration system, but at least we will be sure that we will have at all times water correctly filtrated when we will we will use it. We have two places where we can have the water. So we have a small faucet and we also have the place where we plug the shower. Regarding the hot water system, we decided that for the just the small faucet where we will like just take the water to fill up our glasses or like just have water quickly this isn't connected to the hot water system it could have had hot water but we simply decided that it would be like just a simple use we open it and we get the water to fill up our bottle whatever and where we plug the hose this is where we will have the hot water 
So for showering and maybe for washing the dishes. At first we didn't know that we would have like two places to get the water and in fact it, when we were at PSP Expedition Campus he showed us like his really cool like easy to open and use faucet and we found it really cool and so easy to use that we decided we would have the same on our Land Rover Defender and today we are really happy to have it like that because we can imagine ourselves out there and like needing to fill up our bottle of water and we just need to like pull it out, put on the pump, open it and we have water immediately. And I don't know, I can even imagine at night brushing our teeth, washing our faces in any situation, having like this water ready to use and have it really quickly without needing to plug the hose, open everything like we had before makes it really nice and we really look forward to using it. The second place where we get the water, where we plug the hose to have like the shower type of water is under the wheel arch. We already had it placed there and it was really nice being able to use the water without keeping a door open. We have a similar system for our compressor under the wheel arch, we just need to plug under there and can use it really fast and really easily. The connection that we have and that we already had previously is the garden type of connection. And regarding the hose that we will be using, we had to put some thoughts into this because with our previous setup, we didn't have much space. Not that we have more space now, but we have like this space for the water system. And previously we had like this really compact hose, you know, the ones that like are kind of elastic and can be really long when you have the water Water in it and what we realize is that even though they are really useful because they are compact and that you can like kind of store them really easily they are not that strong and we broke I don't know maybe two or three of them so regarding like the future project being outdoors and off-grid like for a longer period if we have something that doesn't hold and that isn't strong enough it's not good so we just chose another type of hose and as we had the space in this compartment it's all good for us and really easy to use the hot water how does it work so when we need the water we switch on the pump the water goes through the filtration system, it goes through the exchanger and then we can use the hot shower and there's a water mixer on which we choose the temperature of the water and it's in fact just like at home. The use of all this hot water system or just regular water system is really easy. We have two switches. We don't even need to use the remote control of the water heater, which is maybe, you know, like you have to switch on the water heater and then like choose what you want to do and all that. This isn't something that we need to do now. We have one switch for the water heater, meaning that if we want to have hot water, we switch it on. And we have the switch for the water pump. Both of these switches are next to each other on the cubby box. And it's like just switch on, open the water, put your hose if it's for the shower, you just plug it in and then everything is ready to use in like a few seconds or a few minutes. Less than three minutes you can have hot water. It's extremely efficient, extremely easy to use. Having hot water when out there, this will be like a real amazing upgrade. Really looking forward to <laughs> take a shower out there and having hot water. Again, thank you to Christophe from the Land Cruiser 80 for sharing with us this awesome water system that you have on your build and that you built 
and that you use so we know that it's supposed to work. Obviously now the big job will be to test everything. We already shared a bit of our water system on social media, mainly on Facebook. We did already have some returns and saying, oh, you shouldn't have used this and that. But honestly, we will mostly trust someone that is sharing and showing us exactly uh, how he did it and that it works and that it goes well rather than just having some people that we don't know hello volcania can you start please thank you rather than having someone that just says oh you shouldn't use this uh, this is crappy and not having like all the experience and the background regarding this comment okay hope you enjoyed volcan please he's like mimicking what i'm doing with my hands and it's really annoying come here ah. <laughs> there yeah. say hello. Hey, hello hello okay this is that she doesn't have any head <laughs> there hope you enjoy we are really looking forward to test all of this water system outdoors and yes we know that we don't have any uh, solutions for the moment regarding the cold season this is something new for us we did take time to build it and it took a lot of time a lot of research and honestly we didn't want to do it and we were thinking about giving it to a garage like for the water heater finally uh, we are really happy that it's my husband who did it completely by himself because now we know exactly how everything works. We do understand really properly all the system and how it works. And we are kind of confident that all will go well, but we can't be like 100% sure that everything will be like 100% great from the beginning and obviously experiencing everything ourselves is the most valuable regarding all the outdoor situation that we might find ourselves in. So there you go. Tell me about your water system. Do you have a hot water system <laughs> or not like before we didn't have a hot water system? And do you have a filtration, something that we didn't have before and that is also new for us how do you pump water do you have also a pumping system to fill up your tanks or do you have to go with a jerry can and like the old style filling up the tanks situation yeah love to read you and also don't don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one bye